In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create high converting landing pages that rank high in Google search and Google Maps for the services your business is selling. So not only your website will get more visitors, but more of them will become customers. Hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. I'm here to help you make the most of your business online. So if you want to join the community, just subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. Before I go any further, let's talk about what a landing page really is. If you're not familiar with the term landing page and you search for it in Google, you may come across conflicting definitions. And that's because depending on who you ask, a landing page might mean something different. Looking at the first result in Google, a landing page is a standalone web page created specifically for a marketing or advertising campaign. But if you look at the second result, a landing page is the first page you land on after clicking on a link. In this sense, a landing page could be almost anything, your homepage, a blog post, a product page, a lead capture page. For me, when it comes to local business websites, what I would consider landing pages are essentially your homepage and your services pages. This is where most of your visitors will land when they search for a local business, and this is where they will decide or not to do business with you. Let's say I search for boiler repair near me, for example. If I click on the first result in the Google Map Pack, I will land on that business's homepage. But if I click on the first organic result for the same keyword search, I will land directly on the dedicated boiler repair service page for this plumbing business. The trick is, once your visitors have landed on any of those pages, you want them to take an action of some sort without going anywhere else on your site. The most popular action you'd expect them to take are giving you a call, making a reservation, reaching out to you via a chat facility, or request a quote. In summary, as a local business owner, what you are aiming for is first, to create landing pages that are optimized for Google search so people can find your business when they are searching for a specific service in their area. And second, add the right elements to the design of those pages and in the right places to encourage them to take immediate action. So let's have a look at how you can best do this. Let's start with the example of this air conditioning and refrigeration business. Yes, I agree. This is a shockingly awful looking page and that's why I have decided to show it to you. From a design point of view, it simply feels like we've moved back in time. As a customer, if I came across this business's homepage, would I want to call them for help? Unlikely. And if I landed on any of the services pages, it only gets worse. I feel confident that this business owner is not maximizing his opportunity of being found in Google. And if by any chance he was found, I don't believe anyone would want to pick up the phone to call him. And just to make a point, I run his HVAC page in one of the SEO tools that I use. From the data I gathered, you can quickly see this particular page generates zero traffic and only ranks for one keyword, which is in position four. And that keyword includes his brand name, just in time, which really it should be number one for. To be honest, I didn't need to analyze this page in any tool. Why? Because at a glance, I can see this site is missing some key elements that will prevent it from ranking, but also from converting any visitors into customers, should he get any. First, let's have a look at the SEO elements that would make a huge difference if they were implemented properly. This business is based in Phoenix, Arizona, and yet there is no mention of Phoenix in either the meta title of his page or the header of the page itself, which is a big oversight when it comes to local SEO. You must try to include your location keyword in both these elements if you are hoping to rank in your area. His location is only mentioned in four instances, once in a paragraph and three times in the footer of the page, which is not going to be enough for him to rank. Some of the copy is included in images, so it cannot be crawled by Google. For example, all his services are listed within thumbnails right here, but they don't appear as text links. A text link like this HVAC link, for instance, in the footer will help Google understand that the page it points to is about HVAC. There is no header whatsoever on the page and a complete lack of structure. Page structure is important and headers in general are important SEO signals. There is hardly any copy on any of the pages, which is clearly another missed opportunity. The more copy you have, the more keywords you can rank for. 
obviously it needs to be relevant and useful to the users. In SEO jargon, we would qualify these type of pages as thin content pages. These are high level issues I could observe at a glance and there is a lot more I could cover here, but I wouldn't need to. I know there is almost no chance for this site to rank for the services it provides. Now, let's have a look at conversion and why this page is unlikely to turn visitors into customers. The biggest issue I can see here is the site is not compatible for mobile phones. Most of your visitors will come across your business online via a cell phone these days. So if your site doesn't work on a small screen, you're going to lose a huge amount of business. The call to actions are not very clear at all. Although there is a phone number at the top of the page, the display could definitely be improved with either a phone icon or a prompt that would say call us, for example. I would also remove the quick contact us form on the right hand side. It takes too long to fill in. People want immediate answer. A WhatsApp widget or a chat facility would work a lot better. Additionally, if I try to fill in the form and submit it, it just doesn't even work and returns an error. There is no customer testimonials to help with the reputation of this business or any reference to previous jobs this company may have successfully completed. This site is also not secure and it shows in the browser bar. It never fills visitors with confidence to see red security messages. Once again, there are plenty of other issues regarding conversions that could be addressed here, but I think it's best if we stop now. If I was running this business, I would take this site down and start from scratch as I feel it is currently counterproductive and more damaging to the business and its reputation than anything else. Obviously, this is an extreme case, but it's not always so evident. Here is another example of a site that at first might fill you with confidence due to its slick design. But again, it's missing some key elements. This business is targeting London as a location, but the keyword London is not even used in the title or header of the page. There is not a huge amount of copy available either on the homepage or the services pages. And if I run this site in my SEO tool, it turns out they rank for no keyword and get zero organic traffic, even though they have been online since 2014. Admittedly, it would probably fare better than the previous example when it comes to conversion, as the call to actions are a lot clearer, but elements such as the benefit summary, for example, should be much higher up on the page. You really want to convince visitors you are the best choice as early as possible in their browsing experience. And if they need more proof, they can continue scrolling down the page and seek further information that will reassure them, such as your recent projects, for example. Okay, so instead of lingering any longer on bad landing pages, let's have a look at good landing pages instead and follow the same process. Here is a page for a dentist located in Miami who, amongst many other services, also offers emergency dental treatment, which is the page I'm currently on. Before going any further, let's have a look at the performance of this very page in my SEO tool. This page alone ranks for 92 keywords and drives 193 visits every month. Not bad for one page. Let's have a look at the keyword rankings in more details. He's actually number one for quite a lot of emergency dental or dentist emergency variation keywords and number two for 24 hour emergency dentist Miami. By ranking so high for such specific keywords, he is driving what we call qualified traffic to this page, i.e. the user intent is really clear before they land on the page. They are searching for an emergency dentist. So anyone landing on this page is more likely to call and book an appointment, which unless I am mistaken, should drive quite a bit of business his way and a good amount of revenue. Let's go back to the page and see how he is able to achieve these rankings. First, his page title clearly includes the keywords he is targeting along with his location. Emergency Dentist Miami, 24-7 Emergency Dental Care, which will be displayed in Google search results. And in his case, he is even rewarded with a featured snippet that sits right below the ads and above the maps. And quite frankly, that's as good as it gets. The main keyword is also included in the header of the page. And if I search for the number of times emergency dentist is mentioned on this page, it comes up 21 times in the overall copy and is also cleverly added to some of the headers, which carries even more weight.
and when I search for Miami, it comes up 19 times. So when Google comes and crawls this page, there is no doubt it will be able to process this information and conclude this page is clearly all about emergency dentist in Miami, Florida, and rank it accordingly. But don't just rush to your website and start amending your pages to include the keywords you are targeting a hundred times because it will not work. This needs to be done carefully and this is exactly what this dentist has done. So let me break it down for you. At the top of the page, he has added a table of content with links that include the keywords, which is a very smart thing to do when it comes to SEO. Including your keywords in anchor links is yet another good SEO signal. This practice is also useful to the user who can jump straight to the section he wants to read. The first paragraph starts with a question which includes another variation of dental emergency with the answer straight after it. This is another tactic that can trigger another one of those featured snippets in Google search results, which once again will sit right under the ad and give you a huge amount of prominence. The page continues with a breakdown of dental emergency types. Once again, the keyword is part of the header, but note, it's a slight variation of dental emergency. Instead, he's using plural. Google is able to understand the semantic relationship between words. That's why you can also see as part of the copy tons of related keywords such as missing teeth, dental prosthesis, gum swelling, wisdom teeth, which all contribute to reinforce the idea this page is all about dental stuff. This page is also very well structured and broken down with many headers in which the keyword is included or variations of it are used. There is also a video which is what is known as rich content that enhances the user experience, yet another signal taken into consideration by Google when it comes to ranking a page. The page continues with a frequently asked questions section that covers, you guessed it, the most frequently asked questions in regards with emergency dental treatment, another opportunity to add more relevant content. It's fair to say that this page is packed with a lot of information, which will not only satisfy Google, but also the users. Hence the reason why this dentist is able to achieve high rankings for his targeted terms. I think overall, this page is well put together, especially if you compare it with one of their competitors. This page has literally no content on it that will be valuable to the user or the search engine. There is zero mention of the word emergency dentist and Miami is only barely mentioned. They seem to be targeting the keyword emergency treatment, but what kind of treatment are we talking about here? How is Google supposed to figure it out? This business has almost no chance of driving any organic traffic to this page. But let's go back to our emergency dentist once more and look at how well he is doing from a conversion perspective this time. There is a clear call to action at the top of the page that prompts users to contact them or call them, as well as a contact form on the right hand side. Although as I've already mentioned, I would be inclined to replace this with an instant chat functionality. As you scroll down, there is a promotional message advertising a free consultation, which is likely to entice visitors to make an appointment, which is a good offer when we all know how expensive a dentist can be. This is also reinforced with a before and after widget sitting on the right hand side column, which is very effective to help visitors visualize the results they can expect once they've had their teeth fixed. Right below the widget, you can find happy clients testimonials, which will also be useful to confirm this is clearly a dentist you can trust. And right under that, you can find references to publications where this business is featured, which I am assuming are well known in the Miami area. I've already spoken about the video, which is good for SEO because it's rich content, but it will help potential new patients connect with a dentist even before they make an appointment. Going to the dentist is most often than not a daunting experience. Being reassured before going and knowing who you will be dealing with will play a huge part in the visitor's decision-making process. 
I can't encourage you enough to start creating video content for your own website and your own business, no matter how small you are and which vertical you're in. It is probably the best marketing tool ever. And if you need more info on how to do that, just watch my video, how to make a YouTube video and attract clients to your business. While I think this page ticks most of the boxes as a landing page, there are a couple of things that can be approved upon. The first one, and this is a big one, if I look at this page on mobile, you can't see any call to action unless you scroll down quite a fair amount. It's important to ensure you have either your phone number or a call to action visible without the visitors having to scroll down so people can easily get in touch. The other big one is that his website doesn't seem to be secure and is still using HTTP protocol instead of HTTPS. And I would recommend they change this ASAP. As far as the reviews are concerned, I would make sure they are verifiable. What I mean by that is anyone can add fake reviews to their page, right? But if users can verify the source by clicking on them, like in this example, it adds more credibility to the page and the business overall. I would also add a hero image at the top of the page as it currently looks a little bit bland and add a list of benefits too. Finally, I would probably bring up the video much higher up on the page as I do believe it would make a real difference in convincing visitors. And overall, I think the design could be a little bit more polished. Here is an example of a very effective design for another dentist in Miami selling dental implants, which includes a lot of the elements I've already talked about, such as videos, call to actions, price point, benefits, FAQs and so on. Just go and check it out. Go and review your own pages and make sure you integrate as many of the recommendations I have mentioned to your pages and the phone should be ringing. Don't use any shortcuts and take time to produce quality content that is useful to the visitors first and the rest will follow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just slap the like button and if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Until next time, happy marketing.